Hi everybody, how are you? It's Dr. Cruz. So I want to talk about trauma. Trauma, 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 right? Something that many of us experience and um, many of us don't really heal from, right? So I want to talk about trauma because there's so many people who haven't, um, they, they haven't healed from trauma. They don't know how to heal from trauma. They may not have someone to, um, to, to go through the process with them to heal. And so I, I want to kind of give some information that maybe even if you don't have the right people to go through the healing with you, that you can take some of this information and heal yourself, right? Maybe not completely heal, but you can at least get started healing and you can, um, you know, make some progress and learn some kind of fundamental transitions and fundamental elements of, you know, first of all, identifying what trauma is. So <clears throat> trauma, trauma is an experience, you know, we'll experience something and it's the brain's response to that event or to that experience. And the brain responds in such a way that it's, it causes extreme, the event causes such extreme duress and stress for our mind, our body, and our spirit to the point where we become overwhelmed and we don't know how to function any longer, right? The, the precipitating event was so detrimental to us that it it kind of steals our ability and it it paralyzes us in that moment and we stop growing in many ways in many um in many aspects we stop growing because of that trauma we get stuck in that moment right and um and so what happens is the brain in that moment of the trauma the brain kind of gets stuck it takes a snapshot of that moment because that moment is so highly emotional right this is a, a key factor for trauma the event is so highly emotional that the brain gets stuck in that moment right for that trauma and it keeps replaying in some way shape or form it keeps replaying either aspects of the trauma or elements of the trauma or pictures from the trauma and then what happens is later on we start hearing or seeing or smelling things that represent something to the brain and it reminds us of that experience and then we get triggered right back into the trauma so it's like we're reliving the trauma all over again until we actually heal from the trauma so with trauma you know you are affected on a multitude of levels right so obviously you're going to probably be um, affected on a physical level right if the event you're experiencing it in the physical so you're going to have an, a physical reaction to the trauma it could be um well before i get to what it could be let's continue with how it affects us it affects us physically it affects us mentally it affects us emotionally and it very well could affect us spiritually because then people begin to question their spirituality or uh, for some people, it helps us to seek God. So some people, it repels them from God and other people, it propels them into their spirituality and into their faith, right? So each person handles trauma differently. And that's really important to understand, especially if you have someone in your family who's gone through a traumatic event. So for you, maybe the event didn't affect you as much. But for the other person in your family, it's very traumatizing, right? And the reason that it affects you differently than it affects someone else is because of the way the brain processed the experience. Okay, that's really important to understand because when we experience this event that we call trauma, our neurobiology in that moment changes forever, right? We'll never be the same. 
but that's not to say that we cannot become a better person that we can't figure out a way to process it so that we can propel from the situation instead of letting it become our demise okay now that is within your control but you have to know that there's an option for that okay that even though you experience something very traumatic it doesn't mean that it's the end of your life you just got to figure out how to process it and process it in a way where it benefits you okay that's that's really the key right and so often what happens is people get stuck in the trauma memory right because the memory is in the mind it's in the body it's in the physiology so there's a really great book called the body keeps the score and it talks about trauma um, I met the author of that book he's a psychiatrist I think from um, Germany maybe um, and so the audiobook um, I really highly recommend getting the audiobook and the the um, the regular book so that you can highlight as you're listening to him um, that's what I like to do but I, I do that with everything even the Bible I like to listen to the audio and read at the same time right it's um, so anytime you can input information into your brain using more than one of your senses it um, it kind of compounds its positive effect in your mind and in your body so if you're reading and you're listening at the same time it's like a double a double dose of ice cream <laughs> it's like double mint double your pleasure right so or double your benefits <laughs> That was a gum commercial years ago. W your pleasure. Oh, my Lord, that went left. <laughs> okay, so trauma. What were we talking about? Trauma. So what happens is, um, oh, gosh, where did I leave off? So the mind, the mind, um, you know, you just kind of get stuck there, right? So you got to, you got to basically what happens is the mind gets affected the physiology gets affected by the experience and your neural connections now are affected right so you have to kind of unravel the yarn right if you ever think of a, a ball of yarn and it's all kind of raveled up and and or a wires right you, you have to untangle all of that mess and you have to rewire your mind so basically understand this that everything that happens in your life right everything that happens gets interpreted by the mind right so this is why the mind is so important everything gets interpreted by the mind and based on your interpretation in the mind based on your previous conditioning from youth based on um, what's called like your mapping right the way you understand your world the way you understand your life the way you understand people all of that um, contributes to how trauma is going to affect you and then most importantly what kind of meaning are you giving the event right so if you give the the event a traumatic meaning and you're deeply connected to the meaning of the trauma then you're going to be more traumatized than someone who can process the trauma and and say and rationalize it basically and say you know what okay for instance um when i was growing up i was sexually abused but i never took ownership of the sexual abuse i never felt it was my fault i never felt dirty i never felt like something's wrong with me i i never owned it right and that's really important um in domestic violence i never owned it it's not my mess i just had to take responsibility for changing it in my mind so that i could separate from it and move on to live healthy okay so some of the traumas that people can experience is a, a loss in the family that can be very traumatic especially if if it happens quickly if you're not expecting it um a car crash very traumatic um sexual abuse domestic violence um being taken out of your home and put into foster care that can be very traumatic mm, 
losing a job abruptly, becoming homeless. You know, in 2008, when the real estate market crashed, there was a lot of people that became homeless, right? So that can be very traumatic. Um, a woman who may um, come to full pregnancy term and then have a stillborn baby, um, that is hugely traumatic. I, I can't even imagine. Um, <clears throat> just living with someone who uh, potentially may have a mental illness and um, you're the caretaker and potentially if they're abusive to you, you know, even um, living with living with someone who has Alzheimer's and maybe they keep disappearing they keep leaving the house that's very traumatic to think that you've lost a loved one um, if you lose a pet especially traumatically you know there's a lot of different ways and everybody's going to experience some kind of loss in their life but whether it's a trauma or not is really based on how we interpret the situation on um on some part you know what i mean and so that's the part that you have control over and i really want to encourage you to understand that even out of the ashes of something that is horrible can really um, benefit you in certain ways you know i said you'll never be the same and that's true we'll never be the same after a traumatic event but can we use that event can we use the understanding we have of that event to do something amazing in life, to help somebody else. Can we turn our life around? We absolutely can. Now, it definitely helps if we have somebody to um, partner with, you know, a therapist or someone um, who knows a trauma therapist, specifically a trauma therapist, right? Somebody that has experience in processing trauma because there's stages of loss, there's stages of grief, there's um, reorganizing the way the mind thinks. So now you, this traumatic event has disrupted the neural connections in your mind and you have to reconnect things in a better way in your mind. And so that's where hypnosis can come in. Hypnosis can definitely help people to um, to give new meaning, this is really critical and I need you to hear me right now, okay? When you go into hypnosis, you go into a very deeply relaxed state. And in that state, um, you need to give your traumatic memory a new meaning. You need to reorganize your thoughts around that traumatic event, okay? Because if you continue to think about the event, if you continue to process the event, if you continue to identify with the event in the same manner that you did when it occurred, then the effect on your body is not going to change. It's going to maintain the same stress alarm and sometimes that turns into PTSD, right? So PTSD is the alarm system keeps getting triggered based on something in the environment or in our mind that reminds us of a precipitating traumatic event. And so how, how do we stop that? How do we take control of the anxiety? How do we take control of the PTSD? How do we reprogram our mind from a traumatic event? Let me see, the sun is kind of in my eyes. Let me see if I can move over here. The way that you reorganize your mind and you reorganize your thoughts, number one, can be through hypnosis. The, the reason hypnosis is really great is because you're in a relaxed state, right? You are partnered with somebody who can help you process that trauma. And you're in such a relaxed state that your conscious mind, the brain waves have slowed down to... Um, a particular brain wave where now the, the hypnotherapist is talking directly to your subconscious mind there is no filter you know the conscious mind you're still awake you can reject anything you want but presumably you're there to let the hypnotherapist help you process the trauma so you don't want your conscious mind interrupting and filtering it out right so what you do um, the hypnotherapist if you know presumably they they um, will approach it this way, I would approach it this way, is you don't revisit the trauma, 
okay because you don't want to keep we don't want to re-traumatize the person but what you want to do and if you try to do this with self-hypnosis or if you try to do this in your own time or with uh, self-hypnosis or visualization or um, things of that nature you want to number one you want to kind of and I'm gonna say a word I don't want like this is kind of a, a flag word for some people so before I say it understand what I mean by it is just separate yourself so in fact I won't say the word you're just gonna separate yourself in your mind from the experience right and by separating yourself your identity from the experience in your mind then you're able to affect the meaning that you're giving it and not re traumatize yourself so I just really want to encourage you all whoever out there has trauma who's experienced trauma there's so many people who have surrendered to some traumatic experience in life and I'm here to let you know that you don't have to do that that traumatic experience does not have to own you on any level you can reorganize how your mind interprets the memory of that trauma and you can repurpose it and then you can use the benefits that you gain later once you are healed whether it's the education or the techniques or the survivor story or the fact that you are more empathetic to other people's traumas because you've experienced trauma and you've processed it so you understand therefore you're more patient than someone who may not have experienced it right or experienced any trauma I don't know maybe there's people out there that haven't experienced any trauma yet I suppose there might be some who knows right um, but trauma typically doesn't miss us eventually you know so at some point in our life we're gonna feel something that feels traumatic and it's based on our interpretation the effect of how it's going to affect us is based on our interpretation the meaning we give that event so that's your power okay if you're experiencing something now that's haunting you it's because of the association you're giving it the meaning you're giving it and you got to change that and the way you change that is by changing the way you think and it's not as easy as one, two, three. It takes work, right? It didn't happen overnight. It's not going to get resolved overnight. But that's why you need some trauma work. But please, by all means, I'm begging you, don't surrender your life to this event that you've experienced and now you feel like you're disabled and you know, you're just distraught and you can't get it together anymore. And if you need an example, I'm an example. I've been through every trauma you can imagine. <laughs> right well not every single one but I've been through a lot and I'm okay right I'm okay I figured the code out and I'm here to let you know that you can figure it out too and if you need any questions answered just you know message me or whatever right because this is not a big secret you know this is information we need to share with one another especially foster children right foster children get very traumatized by being anybody right pulled from their family thrown into some strangers home all the abuse they may experience and whoever else you know I'm partial to foster children because I was one but every time I mention foster children there is somebody in the bushes that says wait a minute what about me you know what about domestic abuse or what about you know whatever this is not a competition we all have experienced trauma on some level it's not a competition it's about being compassionate and learning the skill sets to reorganize your mind so that your mind doesn't control you with all of these memories and flashbacks and triggers and you know all this stuff that you you get to a point where you are in control of your own mind based on the meaning and the association the reason my sexual abuse the reason my domestic violence the reason you know my parents abandoning me and the reason like all these things haven't um, ruined me is because I was hell-bent on claiming my life again right because trauma reorganizes your mind so now you have to put it back together and you can do it in a way where you're better off afterward okay that's all i got for you today i hope that's helped somebody and if you need me 
You just message me, okay? All right. Take care. Bye-bye.